guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be about purple smoky eye look. So if you know how I achieve this look, then please keep on watching. I'm gonna start with my eyes first as I'm doing smoky eyes. I've already filled my brows. Now I'm gonna set my eyes with concealer. I'm gonna use is this Pro Arte Gel Eye Light Pencil in the shade Violet Gem. I'm gonna use this as a base for my lid and then using a brush, I'm just smudging this to create a smoky base. You don't have to worry to be neat at this point. Just make sure that you don't over smudge the kajal. I'm gonna start with eyeshadow work. I'm going to take this NYX palette and I'm going to use this purple color and I'm just going to apply it with my Pro Arte AE25 brush and I'm just gonna pat on the color. Next I'm taking this pink shade and I'm going to apply it on my crease line with my Pro Arte PF08 blending brush and I'm going to blend it all my crease line. Keep on blending as blending is the key in the smoky eye. So blend it and you see to it that you there is there are no sharp edges over there. So keep blending. Even if your eyeshadow gets lighter or something, just pat it more on your lid and then blend it again. I'm taking this revolution palette and I'm gonna take a purple shimmer shade and I'm going to apply right on the center of my lid with my fingers. I'm just gonna pat it and then later I'm going to blend it the edges. So now I'm starting with the face base. So for the face now I'm going to use Max Strobe Cream and I'm going to apply this on my higher points of my face that is on my cheekbones, on my T-zone area, on my forehead, cupid bows and on my chin to give that glow within. Then I'm using a primer. This is a Smashbox primer and I'm going to apply on my T-zone area and around my cheek area where I have open pores. After priming my face, I'm gonna apply foundation and I'm using PAC HD foundation in the shade 2.3 and I'm gonna dot all over my face and I'm gonna blend it with the Beauty Blender.
Next, I'm gonna use Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Medium. I'm gonna apply on my under eyes and a few spots and blemishes on my face. And I'm gonna blend it with the Beauty Blender. So to set the base, I'm gonna use Makeup Revolution Banana Loose Powder and I'm going to use Beauty Blender and I'm going to set my under eye area with this banana powder so that it doesn't crease out and I'm not going to apply it on my face as I really want a dewy finish on my skin so I'm not going to apply it on my face just on my under eye area and on my T-zone. So now I'm taking the same Pro Arte Gel Eyeliner Pencil which we took it earlier and I'm going to apply it on my waterline. And I'm gonna take this pencil brush and I'm going to smudge that out. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to take the same purple eyeshadow and I'm going to apply it on the lash line. I'm just gonna pat it on the lash line where I've applied the gel liner. Then I'm taking lighter pink shade and I'm going to apply it under the purple eyeshadow on the lash line to give a dimension to the eyes. I'm gonna take the same pencil and I'm going to apply it on my upper waterline. I'm gonna take this Makeup Revolution palette and I'm going to take a shimmery shade and I'm going to apply it on my inner corner of the eyes and on my brow bone. I'm gonna take eyelash color and I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. Then I'm using mascara, this CoverGirl mascara and also I'm going to use a pair of false eyelashes later just to give a slightly more dramatic look. And then coming to the face, I'm going to use this blush palette from the Makeup Revolution. I'm going to take this pink shade and I'm going to apply it on my cheeks. So whenever I'm working with purple and blue, I prefer to keep my lips and cheeks in a soft nude pink shade. I find that the cool tones just tie in together nicely. To add a little bit of dimension, I'm going to use this NYX contour palette and I'm going to take this brown shade and I'm going to add this to my cheekbones as well as the jawline. And for the highlighter, I'm going to use Makeup Revolution Illuminator Pro Illuminator Highlighter. And I'm going to apply on high points of my face, that is on my cheekbones, on my T-zone, on my cupid bows, on my chin. So now to complete the look, I'm going to apply this Sugar Holy Go Lightly shade.
and then on the center i'm going to use this nyx sao paul shade on the center of my lip and i'm just gonna blend it smudge it out with my fingers So now to set all my makeup and lock in, I'm going to use this Makeup Revolution Hyaluronic Setting Spray. So that's it guys, this is the final look. That's it guys for today's video. I hope you like this video. So if you like this video, then please give a thumbs up for this video. I'll see you in my next video. Till then, bye-bye.